Hey everyone, uh, I'm just coming out to the field here, I'm just going to bring the Z84 for a second test flight. Last time it worked really well on its maiden. Um, we, ch we tested out loiter mode, return to home and made sure it was flying well, everything seemed very good with it. Um, this time I'm going to redo the same thing again. Uh, I want to maybe do an auto tune on it as well, maybe try that first. And just try and get an idea of how long the flight time is with this ZOHD um, 3500 lithium ion battery that I bought. Um, so basically not much difference, it was flying pretty good before, I've done a servo auto trim on it. Um, we might, we'll, we'll test all the modes basically again and just, just get a bit more of a feel for it. So right at the moment it's it's just collecting satellites. So at the moment you can see we've got we've got 15 satellites at the moment. I'm gonna take off again in angle mode. My battery's actually full even though it's showing 3.98 volts. So I'm not sure what that's going on there. I might have to make sure I'll have to adjust that by the look because that's incorrect. We've got 100 percent battery, it's been fully charged, so it's only showing 76%, so that's not good. We'll sort that out when I get back. So we'll give her a flight, we'll, we'll throw her up, and um, I might even try a, um, a, a nav launch too, actually. That was another one I wanted to try, the nav launch. I did it, was doing it wrong. How I thought um, you had to do it on the previous video, which I never really tested, I never, t I never put in the video, um, I, I, I couldn't get it going, but that was uh, because I needed the, um, the throttle had to be already up. Just some simple errors there, you learn. So let's throw her up in the air and see how she goes. Okay, so the plan here is to launch in, uh, is to do an auto launch here. So to do this, you arm the craft, and you'll see on your OSD and your goggles there, it'll mention it should come up launch mode active. And then you have, I think it's 30 seconds uh, to lift the throttle to at least halfway and throw the plane. So launch mode's now active. Throttle is at about just over halfway to three quarters and off we go. Perfect launch. And when you're ready, you, you don't have to do anything here. As soon as you're ready to take over, you just start flying and launch mode is deactivated. plane still needs to have an auto tune um, but it's flying quite nice as it is now there's very little wind today so not much blowing it around up there I'm just flying in angle mode at the moment, so my my the angle that the plane can uh, roll is limited. I'll switch into horizon mode a bit later. We'll bank around and we'll come back over over near where I'm standing. moment we're just flying at around 50 meters. There's no OSD on this because the, uh, I was having trouble with the SD card and I couldn't get recording to show you any telemetry so I can just let you know as we, we fly along. We have a bit of a, dr bit of a spin over the mountain here. The out to the left there is our flying field. No break up with the video, video is good. And the receiver is an L9R, FR Sky, L9R long range receiver.
Do a little pass over these trees here on the side of the mountain. Got a lot of confidence in this plane after its second flight. Flies really well. Very easy to fly. And we might bank around and do a flyby flyby over the top of us. Flying this all relatively around half throttle, about 50 to 60 percent throttle. Do one, run, one last run out and back and come in for a landing. Let's go up over the mountain again. We'll pan around and we'll come in for a bit of a landing. Manual landing that is. I'm not going to be doing anything fancy. We're at about nearly a kilometre away, so I've got full range still good good to limit good uh yeah, good reading on my in my goggles, good video feed, no dropouts. It's running five point eight gigahertz system. Go a bit of a low pass. We'll go out one more time and come back. 
for a landing. that one up. <laughs> Still getting used to it coming down. I'm not sure if it's slow speed yet, how stable. It's, it goes alright at slow speed, but I'm not 100% confident how slow I can actually go before it stalls yet. I'll bring it in. This will be it. Come straight in here. Lovely. So there you go. That's our test run completed. So yeah, that was a good test again. Beautifully flying. I didn't do an auto tune though, so I might throw it up again and just see what that will do. I'm just not sure how to save it. So, but it is, it's flying good. So it feels a bit like it's a tiny bit nose heavy. That's about it, but other than that, it's flying really good. It's got some good distance. What I got off it then, and that was 10 minutes on the battery. I just flew for 10 straight, so I'm sure I'm, I'm sure it's got a lot more in it still than that. But other than that, it's, it's flying good. I'm very impressed with this wing. The auto launch worked really well. I might do another auto la launch and just give that another another check over. But no, it's, it's a good machine. It flies beautifully. Okay, so this second launch here, I'm going to do another another automatic launch. Um, same procedure, you arm it, lift your throttle stick up uh, to over halfway and give it a shake if you want, or just throw it and it'll just automatically start flying up in altitude, ready for you to take over. Off we go. I'm going to stick this one into an auto tune. So to do the auto tune while you're flying, I'll just level off. Now I'll bank, bank around here and then I'll straighten it up and then I'll flick the auto tune button switch. Sorry, I'll flick the auto auto tune switch and it'll come up in my OSD on my goggles that auto tune is inactive. So I've just I've just switched the switch it into auto tune now auto tune is active so basically it, all you're doing here is just fly it you fly it for at least three minutes and it records it records uh, PDFs every every five seconds or so they recommend you do as you do aggressive turns as well banks Be a little bit aggressive with the with the with the flying uh, as it tunes itself, and then when you're happy with the tune, don't land it. So when you're happy with the tune, you switch off your auto tune switch, and then you land it, and then you have to save it to your um, flight controller. So I'm just doing some tight turns here. Can actually feel it feeling a little bit better. It's a bit more stable now in level mode too. It's quite nice. You can visually see it in the in the um, video display. It's not as shaky as it was.
quite nice. And like I said before, as, when you're ready, when you when you feel it's it's not improving with its flight characteristics, you um, you switch off the auto tune. Do not land while it's in auto tune, or you'll mess up your your tune. I feel like it's reached its point now where it's nice, so I'll switch it off and come in for a landing. and then you have to save it uh, to your flight controller from there either by plugging it into iNav there's a few different ways of doing that well that worked really good again it's a, I'm amazed with this little plane the Z84 wing wing I'll tell you what if anyone's thinking of buying it do it it's a it's a fantastic little machine it flies beautifully it's um, I've just given it an auto tune. I could feel the difference. It was progressing as I flew. Flew it for about three minutes only. But yeah, I'm very amazed at how well it flies. iNav is really set up good. iNav 2.5 I've got on it. It's set up really well. It is um, just out of the out, out of the stock setup. Seem to be very good for this this plane. I use the the settings that it produces when you when you set up your wing. Uh, your flight controller but it it, it it performed flawlessly it was I mean there's no wind today so you would sort of expect no no sort of rough flying but it was it was very very smooth um, I tried horizon mode horizon mode worked good I prefer that mode to angle mode there's a lot more pitch on it and a lot more angle um, I didn't do the return to home today but that worked well in the first test uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very, very impressed with it. I'm, give it, I'll give it the thumbs up. That's really a good, good little plane. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at taking it out to the beaches. I think next and do a bit of flying over the water. I got pretty good confidence with it, just as it is now. I don't feel like it needs much altering at all. It flies smoothly. It's, it's got, it flies very well at half throttle. Um, I could even climb in altitude at half throttle. Uh, without the fear of it feeling like it's stalling. But no, it's a beautiful little machine. Go get yourselves ones, guys. They're very cheap. And then put in a um, decent flight control. I mean, that, 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 this one's got the uh, F3 Furious, uh, Furious F35 setup. It's got the F F35 flight controller. Everything plugs in so you can buy your GPS, which plugs straight in, your Furious FPV GPS. I've got a Furious FPV uh, air speed sensor on it. I didn't get the Bluetooth module or anything like that, but you can't even hook it up and get a Bluetooth module so you can change any of the settings through your phone. Yeah, I'm fantastic. Fantastic. Very, very impressed. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. I'm going to um, hopefully do a bit more flying with it out over the beaches in the coming coming uh, days or even weeks depending on the weather here we're just about to get a bit more rain so um, hopefully that won't last too long and I'll get it out we'll do some nice flying over the water and see what we can we can produce there with it until now um, stay safe and we'll see you in the next video guys see you then bye